Hello, Greg Protenik here from Better Water Concepts to answer the question, why is my water cloudy? Here is a video of a science teacher that's got a glass of cloudy water. You notice that he's tapping on the side and he's also, uh, also the water is starting to clear from the bottom up. Uh, that means that there's air trapped in the water and it has gotten warm enough that the air has actually come out of solution and it's being released into the atmosphere. And the reason he's tapping on the water is uh, those tiny bubbles would stick to the glass, the side of the glass, and wouldn't show that the water is actually clearing up as easily. So he's just making sure that they don't stick to the side. And you've probably seen that when you set a glass of water out on the counter and it warms up and there's a little bit bigger bubbles, but they're still stuck to the side of the glass. So that's why he's tapping on it. And as you can see, as time goes by, in a very short time, this video is not sped up at all, the water becomes clear. Um, here is a different representation where you sh show the different levels of, uh, different, just a different time frame for the water clearing up from bottom to top. Another reason the water can be cloudy is because uh, something's in the water, and that's called turbidity, or it's actually synonymous with dirt in the water. So here are three glasses of water that I set up, and uh, one of them has, uh, is contaminated with flour, one is contaminated with milk, and one is contaminated with latex paint. Can you tell which one? Uh, I can't, and I did it. <laughs> Uh, it's difficult to determine what is causing your water to be cloudy if it's not air. And the reason for this demonstration is simply to show you that you really can't tell. And if you want to go ahead and take a shot, you know, number them one to three, left to right, uh, put your guesses in the comments below. Uh, um, do it before you watch the, uh, the, the rest of the video or just give your thoughts on it. Um, and uh, again, the reason for this demonstration is just to show you that you really don't know what's contaminating your water by looking at it. There needs to be uh, an examination of the uh, or, you know, analysis of the water. And as you can see, this the water on the which would be number one is uh, contaminated with flour. And that's me going backwards, taking the flour out. Uh, I reversed the video after I set it all up. Um, and um, anyway, if you don't know exactly what's causing the cloudiness in your water, and you can see that this one is, the, the one in the center is uh, cloudy due to a milk contamination. And um, I had to put it in there twice to kind of make it match. Um, but there you go. Uh, so that's the milk, and, and so guess which one is the latex paint. Uh, the point of it is you don't want to drink it if you don't know what's in it. So if you don't know what's in it, for sure, uh, call your water supplier and make sure that you get the right information. Let them know because there could be some contaminant in the water that could make you sick or even kill you. So you don't want that to happen. Get a hold of somebody that's in charge of the water supply system and inform them. Another thing you can do to really make sure uh, uh, that it's caused by something other than just normal sediment in the lines that maybe got disturbed is to install a whole house filter. And I'll leave a link to that in the in the bottom. They're relatively inexpensive, starting at about thirty-five dollars. You can go bigger for for removing more stuff. But uh, all in all, um, if it's not air causing the problem you really need to get that checked out before you drink it. Always be on the safe side. Thanks for watching.